Welcome back guys, today we're going to be looking at this faulty iPhone X. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you didn't see the previous video on the faulty Xbox One X, then I invite you to go and watch that. Um, it was an issue I'd never had before, I'd never come across, so quite an interesting one. But uh, in today's video, we're going to be looking at this uh, faulty iPhone 10. I'll give you the backstory. So the customer has reset the phone, cleaned it all up, ready to be sold, turned it off, put it in its box, you know, listed it for sale. When they've come to um, actually sell it, someone's asked for a video of it working. They've come to turn it on and when they turn it on, they get the Apple logo and the Apple logo never disappears. The phone actually never fully turns on. So they booked it in with us and here it is. I haven't done anything with it yet. I've just put it on the desk. It looks quite good, to be honest. It's in good, good shape. I have asked them if it's been repaired before and they said that it's had a new screen and a new battery. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't through us, but it's been done in the past. So it has been opened before, but it has been working for a while since then. So chances are it's not related to that, but we won't rule anything out at this stage. So when they first gave it to me, the Apple logo was still cycling on the screen. That has stopped since. So I'm not sure if that's because it's run out of battery or if it's just turned off or something. So I have got a charger here if need be, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and turn it on and we're just going to see what happens. So if I just uh, turn it on here and see if the logo comes up. Okay, yeah, so the logo's come on. Let's see if if we can get it to boot. Doesn't normally stay on on these newer devices. We, we don't have to wait a long time with the Apple logo. I know, you know, back with the iPhone threes and fours, you were waiting quite a long time. I'll just wait another thirty or so seconds. I'll just take this opportunity to say that we do repairs for phones for PCs. For laptops and for games consoles so if you've got any any issues any faults in regards to your phone your laptop your computer or even your mac um we do do apple products as well obviously because we've got an iphone here so yeah any issues feel free to contact us so this is stuck it's not going to boot up so i'm just going to try the hard reset i have had it solve quite a few problems but in this sort of situation, it rarely solves the issue. So we're just gonna try it now. So on these newer iPhones, in order to perform the hard reset, you have to do volume up, let go, volume down, let go, and then press and hold the power button. So we're gonna do that now uh, and see if that solves the issue. So volume up, let go, volume down, let go, hold power. So I'm just gonna keep holding the power and we'll see should there you go so the apple logo has gone off keep holding the power okay and just wait for the apple logo to come back there we go right that so let's see if that solves the issue in this situation i doubt it though it's normally fairly quick with these phones especially if it's been reset uh, there shouldn't be anything on there for it to be loading so i would have expected that to already have booted up okay so the next step then is to open this up now and, and have a look inside and see if we can spot anything. Since we know it's been opened up before in the past, I'm not initially gonna use the heat mat. Um, I normally would if it was sealed from the factory. If I can avoid using heat, I will. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna speed this up as normal. Obviously, if you wanna see me take it apart in more detail, you can just slow the video down slightly. I'll get it to the point where we can see inside and I'll rejoin you then. Okay guys, so here we are. It's all opened up. As they said, that's not an original Apple battery, is it? Um, normally it's got the Apple logo just somewhere there. And also there is a protective shield on this back of the screen. I don't know if you can see that there from that angle, like a blue protective shield. Normally they are taken off. Uh, I don't think it matters really if it's left on. 
There are a couple of screws missing, but they're not going to cause any issues. So what I'm going to do first, so I'm just going to take this plate off. Um, so I'm just going to take this screw. Off. So nothing looks out of place. Now, story time. I did in the past have an iPhone, I think it was an XS Max, in with exactly the same issue. I tried many, many things in the end, and the only thing that actually resolved it was disconnecting the earpiece speaker. So just to humor myself, I am going to try that first, but the first thing you always do before you start unplugging anything is unplug the battery. So the battery connector is that one there. So I'm just going to use a plastic tool. There we go. So that's disconnected now. So we're safe to disconnect anything else. If you follow this cable here, it's that connector there. So I'm just going to disconnect the earpiece speaker. There we go. Now that we've disconnected the earpiece speaker, I'll just bend it back slightly. There we go. And I'll just reconnect the battery and we'll try again to see if we can get it to come on. So let's give that a whirl. Be very surprised if it's the same issue. Um, and it'd be quite curious considering they're both the 10 series phone. Still just stuck on the Apple logo. Give it the benefit of the doubt. No, okay, so that hasn't solved the issue. Still got the Apple logo still stuck there. So we'll disconnect battery again. There we go. Plug him back in. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna try and disconnect the charging port just in case they've done some damage there. Um, on this particular phone, it's this large flex here. So I'm just gonna unplug that tool. There we go. So that's come up now. So again, we're gonna put the battery back in like so. And let's see if that makes us any progress. 99% of our job as a technician is trial and error especially with this sort of issue. Um, so you just have to keep trying things until something makes it work, <laughs> put simply. I've not got much confidence on this run either. Seem to be still stuck on the Apple logo. I suppose it's one of those things whereby you say, how long do you give it before you sort of accept that, you know, it's not gonna boot. I'm confident, especially if it's been reset, to say that this is too long. So that's not solved the issue back to the drawing board so again with the plastic tool disconnect the battery there we go and then we can reconnect the charging port there we are right there's an antenna down there let's try the antenna so again plastic pry tool let's see if we can get underneath there we go so that's disconnected. So now let's plug battery back in. And let's see if that's the issue. So again, this is all trial and error just to see if we can find a particular faulty component. I often believe if it was a software related, oh, there we go. It's interrupted me. So it's come straight on. Yeah, so that looks like it has been reset. Okay, so that's come straight on now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a normal power off. Let's turn that off. Okay. Then I'm gonna disconnect the battery again. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds. And then we're gonna reconnect the battery and try it again. And this is test number two of three that I'm going to perform just to verify that that's the, if that is the part that's, that's gone haywire. So it is very similar, if not the same sort of issue that I had with, there we go, it's come straight back on yet. So I'm fairly confident that is the the uh, the faulty part there that's causing the problems. Um, 
I mean, you guys saw how fast that booted up that time. So the last thing I'm going to try, again, we'll power it off normally. I'm going to plug that part back in again. Battery gets plugged back in. And then let's see if we've still got the boot loop. There we go. So it's powering back up again. At least we've got it to power on. That's, that's always a good sign. It's taking ages again. Fairly confident that is the faulty part. Right, so I'm going to disconnect that now. So, battery first, and then and then battery back in. And then again, so we should be okay again this time. It should come straight on. Let's just see. Yeah, and there we have it straight away. So the good news is, I've diagnosed the issue. The bad news is it's the antenna. I don't think I have one of those in stock, so I will have to order one. Once I've cleared all this with the customer, all they've booked it in for is a diagnosis. That won't be a very expensive repair at all. So I'm guessing they will be going ahead, but I will double check with them. And once I've cleared it with them, I'll be ordering that part and replacing it. I will test everything else before giving them a quote iron out any other issues in terms of how it's been caused i'm not 100 percent sure with this iphone xs max that i did in the past the customer believed they'd done nothing they hadn't dropped the phone nothing had been done just a, a failed part essentially anyway at least that's been solved and i think that will do for this video because again obviously i need to order the part if you've enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe if you have an issue like this or a similar one with, a, with another device that you, that you own, feel free to inquire with us. Um, you can do that via our website or you can come to us direct on our socials and we do respond on there fairly quickly. So that'll be all from us today and we'll see you in the next one.